Hello traders, it's your one and only Forest Q coach, Tim Legend, and I'm super excited having you guys here today on this. Uh, I just need to update this strategy that I've been using, okay, in order to add it with uh, more confluences, much more confluences. And uh, I need to show you guys because ever since I added it yesterday, it's been working wonderfully well, okay. So you guys need to get to update your strategy okay if you've been using this uh my indicator windows 2 strategy now i've got an uh an update okay which is the indicators on the main chart so you're going to use it you, you all you need to do is to apply it in order to get more positive response in your trade okay now i'll just give a little recap on the indicator window one how the strategy has uh been working okay you guys already know how the indicate this indicator window two uh works already unless you've not watched the previous video okay i'm not going to talk much about it all you need to do is just go and watch that video okay watch that video so that you'll be able to understand how this one works perfectly then when you learn it well you also watch how this the one on the main charts works okay so if i just have to give a little recap i told you guys that these three zones 70 50 and 30 are significant zones where price likely uh reacts you can always see catch spikes from any of these three zones and then you have your final zone to be the oversold and the overbought level okay if you remember is 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 a five minute strategy you can also use it on one minute strategy uh, time frame also okay but i use it more on five minute time frame so it's, as you can see you can see reactions whenever price is close to any of these lines you can always see reactions you can always see either a spike or you see rejections either a spike or you see rejections okay so there are always reactions when price is around any of these three lines okay uh, there are always reactions there are always reactions there are always reactions when price is close to any of these three lines there are always reactions so you all those things are the things you want to observe okay so this is for boom and uh boom has its candlesticks going to the downside and its spike going to the upside so if you want to catch like three or four or five or six candlesticks from the boom market you always want to look forward to taking trades whenever price is around any of these lines as resistance okay that's what you want to always look out for you can see reactions whenever price gets close to any of these lines there are always reaction there's a little spike okay so one thing you need to know okay because i've noticed that quite a lot of traders have been making this mistake if you want to catch spikes in a market be it boom or crash you need to first of all ask yourself who is in power in that market it's very very important you need to ask yourself what who is what in power in the market so if this is this is boom right now the spikes are the spikes belongs to the, the to the uh, to the bulls right so you want to ask yourself who is in power in this boom market right now if the bulls are in power then you know you're gonna catch a lot of spikes but if the bears are in power then you should be looking forward to um, grabbing quite some candlesticks and focus on few spikes okay that is one thing you need to know in every market be it forex currency pairs or volatility you always want to ask yourself who is in power in that market all right so before i continue if you're enjoying this uh, video right now please don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now okay hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you be the first to get notified whenever i release awesome videos like this okay you don't want to miss out a thing all right so let's proceed now we can see price has just made some reactions around here and it's busy going back to the downside all right so since the bears are in power it might likely keep going even deeper and deeper until it gets somewhere around here to react or it can actually react here but the spikes might not be much it might not be uh, strong enough to push up it all depends this is forex anything can happen you understand so in order for you to be able to catch spikes okay because i'm always focused more on catching spikes so in order for you to be able to catch spikes 
you already know how this strategy works okay i'll say it again if you want to learn it well go to the previous videos i'm gonna leave the description below okay so that you'll be able to watch it look at the uh information icon on the top right right now okay and then you click on it it's gonna take you straight to the video so now the main charts let me now focus on the main charts so how to use the moving averages you have on the main charts as you can see we have four different moving averages now these moving averages are serving as your moving support and your moving resistant channels okay i call it the moving support and resistant channels because it's serving as a channel and it's also serving as support and resistant okay so the the, the you, what you need to understand is that price will always react whenever it gets to any of these moving averages sometimes it can react when it gets to the green one sometimes the yellow one the red one or even the blue one okay so the blue one is actually the highest in a uh, moving average of all okay is the highest is about 200 something uh ema or so when we go to the settings you will understand what i mean more okay so you would always notice price give you some reactions whenever it gets to any of these moving averages right now you see price coming to the downside now it might likely spike when it gets to the blue moving average to as a form of support back to the upside if it does not spike on it it might likely spike on the green one on the yellow one or on the red one even if the spike might not be so strong enough because the bears are more empowered don't forget what i told you okay so even if the spike might not be much it might just give you a few spikes to the upside all right and then continue to move down or it might likely move with full force downward and once it start moving downward deeper and deeper the moving averages are going to change their directions of movement that is where you need to be patient as a trader okay so that is for you uh catching spikes to the upside when you see it getting close to the moving averages as support now let us look at a, a little back test of how price reacts now you see the way price gave some reactions here when the bears were pushing down and the bulls trying to spike up because the bulls are not fully in power all right the spike was very little but look at the way it reacted when it got to this moving average around here and then after the reaction it kept pushing down pushing down pushing down to the downside the bull spiked up again trying to spike up again and you see reactions around this moving averages okay you see reactions around this moving averages so the the moving averages serves as support and resistance so you always want to look out for when price is getting close to the moving averages you want to look out for reactions look you need to understand something about this strategy it's all about reactions look out for reactions when price is close to a particular thing and what are you looking at your point of view here is the moving averages or in this indicator window two your point of view is what the 70 50 and 30 zone okay now look at what i told you guys exactly what i told you you see the spike has just occurred as it got close to the moving average you know i always love it whenever i'm making a video like this and the reactions take place as i'm explaining so that you get to understand it even more okay so you see how the reaction has taken place but remember what i told you i told you the bulls are not fully in power that is why the spike might not be long okay so this is what happens whenever price gets close to any of these moving averages okay so now that the bulls have showed their little strength but because they are weak the bears might likely continue to push down again and before the price before price will cross all this moving average to the downside it, it might likely spike like two or three times okay because of reactions all right because of what reactions as you can see on this other side if you remember the last video i told you guys that this red line here serves as support and resistance also for the market and you see the same thing happened it's reacted when price got close to the red line all right so this is these are the things you want to be focusing on that is why i told you watch the previous video there are about two or three videos of this particular indicator that i've made 
uh, for you guys so you need to watch it and understand well how to use this one then you now apply this one that you're learning to to so that you can strengthen your strategy okay you can strengthen your strategy i hope you guys are enjoying this please give me a thumbs up if you know you uh, you, you are enjoying this uh video right now all right and don't also forget that the the, the november training is getting very very close and you don't want to miss that training okay because after that training i'm going to i'm going to give a challenge to all the students who attended a challenge that at the end of the day 50 traders who win the challenge are going to go with a sum of hundred dollars each i'm awarding 50 traders each so you want to make sure you're part of that training because you're going to learn a lot i'm also going to teach you how to create this kind of strategies because there are a lot of technical things that you require to be able to create powerful strategies like this and i'm going to expose all those things to you guys and teach you price action and technical analysis teach you risk management how to manage your risk when trading boom and crash so many things you need to learn okay so make sure you join that training all right so i hope this video works for you guys right let me now show you the the uh the settings for the moving average so here for the moving average the first moving average you have 110 as your period shift to be zero method simple apply to close style red okay uh your second moving average you have 50 to be period shift to be zero exponential as method and apply to close the style yellow then the third the third moving average you have 20 to be period shift zero exponential open and green in style all right then this was the highest moving average i told you guys which is a which is 220 shift to be zero exponential apply to open and then blue in color all right now let me also give you the relative strength index period to be 11 weighted close hlcc slash four to be uh, that's the applied to right then the levels should be 96 97 98 12 13 14 15 50 70 and words 30 your style put whatever color you want but make sure it's something you can see in the background right and then over here you have this style to be blue in color right blue in color because that's the main in the uh moving line you're using on the indicator window two for macd you have fast ema 12 26 and 9 for this sma apply to close no levels all right for the main the main you want to make sure the main is the color of your background you don't want to see it on the background but your signal should be red in color or whatever color you desire but it should be something visible to your background okay so traders if you know you en you're enjoying this and you and you love this right now please give me a thumbs up and let's keep winning don't forget always leave your comment below all right whatever question you have leave it below whatever you want you want me to uh video you want me to make next always leave on the comment section i use your comments to know what next to make for you guys all right so let's keep winning traders